going on, everybody? John Stamper, Vice President of Learning at Dental Whale. We are here live, Chicago at Midwinter 2023. And as mentioned before, we've got another really exciting partner that we're working with at Dental Whale. And so I have with me Dan Pirelli, who is the general manager at Kettenbach. And I just learned, so we're going to just have some fun facts. We're going to talk, obviously, all Kettenbach and how they can help you in your practice. But a fun fact. So Dan's like on the East Coast Kettenbach headquarters is on the West Coast, spends a lot of time on a plane, but he's here with us today. He's not on an airplane to talk about Kettenbach. So, Dan, how you doing? And I used to live here in Chicago. Okay, there you go. <laughs> so, so I'm right. kind of home. So you're kind of home. Kind of home. Kind of home. Yeah, it's uh, it's great to be here. I'm glad uh, that I'm having an opportunity to address the uh, Dental Whale membership. Uh, we're uh, relatively new members uh, to the uh, to this uh, relationship. Uh, we're about a year now. Yep. Excellent. Yeah. Well, uh, I've had the opportunity over the course of the last six to eight months to spend some time talking with so many of the different great people at Kettenbach. And, and my what comes to my head, Dan, is consistency, uh, you know, just uh, innovation, a lot of things when it comes to what Kettenbach does. What is, when, you, when you hear that word, what does it mean to you? Well, Kettenbach is originally uh, known for its elastomer uh, products, uh, impression materials, bite registration materials. We were the first company to uh, innovate uh, elastomers by introducing the first uh, silicone impression material back in 1955, elastic. Okay. Uh, no longer available in the right. U.S. market, but uh, and we've come a long way from that. But Kettenbach has been an innovator of uh, elastomers throughout that period and continues to uh, maintain that uh, leadership position by offering a product that uh, works great even in a wet mouth, even in the presence of blood. Uh, so for those practices still uh, employing analog uh, procedures, uh, our impression material actually is practice friendly. Yep. And, uh, and known for producing really detailed results uh, because it uh, works great in any condition of tissue. Yeah. How has Kettenbach stayed consistent and, and created this culture? Like, again, you know this better than anybody in, in, in a dental practice, materials dictate technique. Oh, indeed. And, and so when I think about a dentist as an artist, as a clinician, that consistency of knowing what they get every time they order is going to stay the same is so important. So what is it about what you all have done to be able to continue to, to provide that consistency? Well, first off, we stay active in understanding what uh, what's important in a practice. We do it a few ways. With, certainly in our uh, basic research, we do plenty of clinical research uh, in evaluating uh, uh, nuances to, to products uh, that we already market to determine where a product needs to continue in its development. But we're also extremely active in supporting continuing education. And we learn as we attend those courses what's important to a practice. So we're, we're not living in a, in a cave. I mean, we understand that practices have uh, uh, developed uh, their impressioning uh, techniques to include digital as a part of their uh, their process. Yet, we also know that analog is still going to main, be uh, maintaining an important position in most practices, even even now. Um, but we also understand that that because practices are morphing into uh, other other areas, uh, Kettenbach has not stayed solely focused on impression materials. We've developed. Uh, an intensive uh, program of research, uh, basic primary research in our facilities in Germany uh, in resins. Uh, and we have some exciting new resins uh, to uh, come out yet this year uh, to augment the temporary core and adhesive resins that we already have in the line that are relatively recent to us, but, uh, but again, a part of a research investment that we've made in the uh, in the business. Yeah. Add to that, we have an ex a really really exciting preventive product that we're going to be announcing in about three months. Right. It's too early for me right, to say right. anything right Stay now. Stay tuned for that. Stay <laughs> yeah. tuned for that. This is something that will innovate 
a procedure in, in preventive dentistry that has seen no innovation in decades and will completely revamp, change, and increase income opportunity for practices because of what we have uh, developed. I, I'm very excited about this. All right, so you got to mark that note out there to, 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 to continue to check back, you know, with, with Kettenbach and some of that, some new innovation. Uh, can you also talk a little bit about, you, you touched on education. Yes. But, you know, how important that is, uh, you know, with, with the company, but then more importantly, like how your team members connect that to, to the practices that you serve. Well, uh, our team members actually attend these programs. Uh, so, uh, and, and with rare exception, they actually sit in on the course. Right. So they're actually um, certainly listening in to the exchange of information that is going between instructor and, and student. And oftentimes, uh, the instructors who we work with in a lot of cases um, uh, ask the, uh, the representative, our employee, right. Right. to be involved in the actual program. Yeah. So I mean, we take a very active role. We learn from yeah. this exchange. Well, and I'm glad you shared that. You know, I've, I've been talking about this for, for several years. That I feel like this gap, I mean, it's always been there, the relationship between the manufacturer and, and the dental practice. Uh, but I feel like the gap is closing in such a positive way, like you mentioned, because there's so much that the practice can learn from the companies yes. and vice versa. Absolutely. And, and ultimately, that provides great patient care with products and, and, and that, 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 you know, they can serve the patient with. So uh, the other thing that we're excited about, like you mentioned, is having, you know, Kettenbach available on our platform for our Dental Whale members. Yes. Uh, the, the ability for our Dental Whale members to save time and purchase it through that platform, kind of like, a, you know, an all-in-one, you know, place. Uh, talk a little bit about that from your perspective. I mean, you guys have been, you know, direct manufacturing for many years. Yes, well, as a direct selling uh, company to begin with, we, even before this relationship with Dental Whale, we were s saving practices plenty of money just yeah. because we sell on a direct basis. Sure. By, uh, uh, through this uh, Dental Whale membership, yeah, the members are saving extraordinary. Yeah. Uh, uh, amounts of money as a result of their membership and we're very pleased to be able to, to offer that. Excellent. Well Dan I want to say first of all thank you. Uh, we're excited about the partnership and my last question is uh, so how long did you spend in Chicago? Was it, was it, I was born and raised here. Born and raised here. Okay yeah. so can you share with everybody maybe an interesting fact about Chicago that people wouldn't know? Uh, the the, the that uh, until recently, the Chicago Bears had more wins than any other pro football team. <laughs> okay, okay. No, no, I love I'm, that. no, I'm serious. Uh, Chicago is known as the Windy City, right. and everybody thinks it's meteorological. Right. It is not. Okay. It has to do with the Windy City uh, Council. Okay. The politicians were windy okay. back in the early uh, 1920s. Interesting. Roughly. See, I knew we could pull a fact right? <laughs> from, from, a, from a hometown, you know, Chicago. So, so there you go. Well, Dan, thank you so much. Uh, very excited about it. Booth number. I know you think you're right behind us here. Yeah, but we're right nearby. 1730. 1730. 1730. So if you're here and you had a list to come refill some of your Kettenbach products or you want to learn about a lot of the things that Dan talked about, be sure to visit 1730. And uh, we will uh, go from there. Okay. Thanks, Thank Dan. you, John. Appreciate it. Pleasure. Yep.